we believe that every type of vehicle will be autonomous. There's a huge demand for autonomous vehicle technology, and NVIDIA now is at the center of all of this work. We're not developing the vehicles ourselves, but we're partnering with companies around the world and developing the hardware and software brain that will go inside these vehicles. So NVIDIA technology is used for training, and that's our DGX. Inside the vehicle, this is our NVIDIA Drive platform, this is the Pegasus. But even before we get to this phase, what's really important is something we've developed for testing and validation. So the AI now sees the world around it and has to perceive everything from the roadway, the different lanes, marking signs, cars, trucks, other vehicles. And so we've developed deep neural networks using AI techniques to understand and interpret this data all around the vehicle. So there's a lot of different things happening simultaneously inside the car. And what that means is it requires a massive amount of computing inside the vehicle. So cars today have many, many processors doing all different things. And what NVIDIA has created with our drive platform is a supercomputer for the vehicle that all the sensors plug into and processes all the data coming into the vehicle. After that training is done, before we actually want to put the vehicle on the road, we need to test it. The problem with testing in the real world is you often don't encounter the kinds of things that you want to make sure you can handle. So what we want to do is be able to do this in simulation. And so we've created something called Drive Constellation. It has two servers. The first one is full of our GPUs. And what that does is that simulates a virtual environment and a virtual car driving in that environment. And then the second server is connected to it. And this contains the Drive computer that actually goes in the car. And so the output of this system simulating the cameras or the radar, the LIDAR, is fed into the drive computer. And so that drive computer thinks it's in a car driving on the road. It doesn't know it's in a virtual world. And so what we can do is we can control different scenarios, the roads, the lighting, the weather, and be able to create scenarios that will test our software and hardware that ultimately will go on the road. And so this gives us the ability to not just test a few miles, but actually millions or even billions of miles in the data center.